mistakes happen. We've all made them in our lives, both big and small. We can only hope the fallout is minimal. But when it comes to our retirement savings, it's hard to say live and learn. So instead, let's avoid those mistakes. Here to help, we have Michael Martinez, president and founder of The Pension Group. And Michael, I want to welcome you to daytime today. Well, it was great to, great to be here. Thanks, Robin. So first, I want to share your mission. At The Pension Group, what is it that you're hoping to do for your clients? Well, I, I think really what we try to do, Robin, is we try to educate them on, on a variety of topics. You know, obviously, at The Pension Group, we specialize. We're experts in when it comes to people's pensions, but we're much more than that. Uh, we help people with their 401ks, other investment accounts, but we really try to put together a roadmap uh, for retirement. So today we are gonna focus on 401ks, the five most common mistakes, and the first one is about beneficiaries. So what is it that people are doing wrong? Well, you know, I had a situation with a client years ago, um, you know, he was divorced eight years ago, and when we did a review of his uh, retirement accounts, he still had his ex-wife not only on his 401k as beneficiary, but his life insurance as well as his pension. Uh, so needless to say, he was happy yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, to get that uh, changed for him, but uh, that's certainly one area when we take a look at beneficiaries. Uh, you know, as people get older and older, you know, they might have had parents, they might have had a sibling as beneficiary. We want to make sure that's up to date. And again, um, working with someone that uh, looks at all these uh, facets of the retirement plan is extremely important when it comes to your retirement plan. Okay, Mike, next up, this is all about the company match. What is the big mistake here? Well, I, I've, I've sat down with so many people that aren't, you know, they're not even doing the first 6%. Um, and if you're not doing the 6%, you're losing probably about two to $3,000 of free money. Uh, so obviously for our listeners today, you know, to lose two to $3,000 of free money as far as a company match, don't pass it up. At least do, you know, the 6% uh, that you have. Um, that you can put in and the company is going to match you from that standpoint. But again, I think that's so crucial. Uh, and some people say, well, I can't afford it. Well, you can't afford not to do it because, again, very few people out there have pension plans and right. they're relying more and more on 401ks. Um, on average, I, you know, people always ask me the question, Robin, how much should I put in my 401k? Right. Usually about 12 to 15 percent of, of, of your base pay you should be putting in your 401k. All right, Mike, the next mistake, the conservative approach versus the aggressive approach. And what do you mean by this? Well, we advise so many people um, as, as people are getting closer to retirement. Um, one of the things I really stress is we need to be a little more conservative. I mean, we've seen, you know, the market since 94, you know, to now, you know, we've seen uh, from 94 to 2000, the market was up 284 percent. Then we had the you know tech bubble from 2000 to 03, and that dropped 49%. Uh, then we saw it basically go up again 104% up to 10 of 07. Then we had the mortgage crisis. We all remember that. Sure. And it wasn't that long ago, but uh, it's in the back of our mind. And then the market dropped 59% overall. Uh, and the market's back up again, and we're on a six-year cycle. Um, but as we're getting closer and closer to retirement, Robin, what I really stress to people is, you know, you can't afford a, a you know 49% drop or a 59% drop in your portfolio, especially if you have a year, two, three years before retirement. Why? Because you don't have time on your side to make, make up those losses. So we want to be more conservative. Um, and again, that's the, the process we take people through. Uh, you know, you don't have to have 80% in equities. You know, maybe you're more conservative. We use tactical approaches. In fact, we can actually manage a lot of uh, people's 401ks at their current employer. All right, Mike, I want to mention the last two. We have the brokerage link options and the in-service transfer. And then we all need to know about the pre-tax and after-tax options. There's a lot to go over when it comes to this. So your website, a wealth of information for all of these things. And I want to get to something that you are giving out, this download called the Retirement Readiness Kit that can help people with a lot of questions. Yeah, and really what this Retirement Readiness Kit does, Robin, this basically allows people to download the information um, you know, the five most common uh, pension errors or uh, five most common uh, 401k mistake, the 10 most common pension errors and how these lump sums and interest rates affect people's pensions. Um, and again, they can download that at the pensiongroup.com. It's a free download. Uh, they can get that information at their fingertips. Okay, all important things. Again, people can learn more every week on your radio shows as well. So when are you on? Well, we have two radio shows. Uh, we're on Sunday 95. Uh, from 8 to 8.30 uh, in the morning, and we're also on QFM 96. Uh, we just had the opportunity to interview Cheap Trick out in L.A., and it was a great uh, experience being part of American Idol, especially the last show in the last season. Uh, but we're on uh, QFM uh, 96 uh, from 7.30 to 8 o'clock on Sunday morning as well. So, you know, for our, you know, for our viewers out there, you know, tune in. we got a wealth of information as well as our website. So there's a lot of uh, good information to help them uh, plan for retirement. All right, Mike, I want to thank you for being with us. I appreciate it. Thanks.